If you're looking for a powerful yet easy to use screen recorder for your Mac, look no further than Capture or Cap. It's more feature packed compared to inbuilt macOS recorder and more intuitive compared to OBS. Cap is open source, meaning that it's completely free and it's being improved by a community of developers. Moreover, there are free plugins made for Capture by the community that add even more features and further enhance your screen recording experience. Cap can be downloaded from the corresponding website or GitHub. Links will be down in the description below. There are versions both for Intel and Apple silicon-powered Macs. One of the best things about Capture is its user interface. It's incredibly clean and easy to use. You won't have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to use it, so you can focus on capturing great screen recordings. Once you've opened Cap, it sits in the menu bar. Click the icon or use a keyboard shortcut that you can customize in the app settings and you will be presented with a recording pop-up similar to an inbuilt macOS screen recorder. Here you can either select a full screen, window or drag over an area to record. Cool feature here is that you can select a desired aspect ratio. This can be very useful in multiple ways. For example, you have a 4K screen and would like to get exactly full HD recording. Enter 1920 by 1080 and now you can drag the recording area to a desired place knowing that it will be exactly full HD. Another example is if you want to record something for YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels or TikTok. Choose 16 by 9 aspect ratio and after that press these arrows here to rotate the selection. Now drag the selection to the area you would like to record. This way you can immediately see what will be in the recording area and rearrange your content accordingly. If you aren't recording the entire screen, there will be a visible dashed outline and the rest of the screen will be grayed out, which is very convenient. Another great feature of Cap it's the ability to record audio straight from your Mac's microphone, which makes it a really great app for recording voiceovers or tutorials. To select the mic, press the three dots button in the recording pop-up or right-click the capture icon in the menu bar. By default, Cap is unable to capture system audio, however, there's an easy fix that I will be showing later in this video. Another great thing about Cap is its editor versatility. It supports a wide variety of formats to export to, including MP4, GIF and WebM, so you can choose the best one which suits your needs. There's an option to lower down the frame rate, which is quite useful for reducing the size of animated GIFs. Final recording resolution can be customized too. As for the location, you can save the final result to your computer, clipboard or immediately upload it to Dropbox, Giphy and some more providers using Capture's plugins. By the way, have you noticed a little plus icon in the editor? That's because I have a progress bar plugin installed. I can press it, customize the bar's look and now when recording is saved, it will include the neat progress bar. There are plenty of plugins available to help you tailor Cap to your specific needs. To add a plugin, right-click Cap icon, select Preferences, Plugins and simply toggle on the ones you need. My set of plugins includes Do Not Disturb, which silences all notifications during recording, Hide Desktop icons, which as the name implies hides all the desktop mess and optionally can switch to a custom wallpaper, keycast to show the keys pressed, which can either show all the key presses or only the combination of keys. By the way, mouse keys can be shown too. Simply toggle highlight clicks in general section of Capture's preferences, progress bar that you've already seen in action, and recording time, so I can see for how long I'm recording in the menu bar. Moving on to downsides, I have to tell you that there are some you should be aware of. What's most annoying, the webcam capture is completely broken and it was previously integrated via the third-party plugin that is no longer maintained. That's why I assume that there will be no fix for quite a long time. You can still show your webcam in a pop-up floating window using QuickTime, VLC Player or a paid utility like HandMirror Plus. 
let me quickly demonstrate how to do that via QuickTime. Launch QuickTime, choose File menu, New Movie Recording. Now select your webcam and next in the top menu navigate to View, Float on top. Second, there is a noticeable around 3 seconds delay between you hit record and the recording actually starting. And third, as I mentioned, there is no way to record system audio right out of the box, but we can fix this one. So how can you record Mac system audio using Cap or basically any other screen recorder that supports capturing audio from microphone? Download a small macOS utility called Background Music from GitHub. You can find a link in the description. Install and launch. Now select it as a microphone for Cap by right-clicking Captures icon in the menu bar. Note that there is background music and background music UI sounds. Select the first one, as the latter will only output macOS default system sounds like this. Now Capture will record the system sound. If you face any issues like distorted audio, launch Activity Monitor, search for Core Audio D process and force quit it. If you want to record system audio and your microphone at the same time, launch Audio MIDI Setup. Press plus sign in the bottom left and select Create Aggregate Device. Select Background Music, your microphone and Background Music UI sounds if you would like to capture those as well. You can now rename it to something else. The final step is to select this new virtual device as a microphone for cap. Overall, if you are looking for a feature-packed and free screen recorder for your Mac, cap is definitely worth checking out. My name is Nick and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing to the channel to stay tuned for more useful videos. And see you in the next one!